Hi there, and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke, and today we're going to be exploring the ways that we can use M5 Stack in IoT or home automation applications. Before, we may have done some simple sketches like linking or making sounds from our M5, but that doesn't mean that the M5 is limited to only simple functions. We're going to use our relay module today. The relay is a module which can interface between DC and AC voltage. It's essentially a switch that requires uh, low power to turn on. We'll be using it to turn on this common household light. All that we need to do with this light uh, is to sever one of the wires. If you have a two pin wire cable, then this isn't a problem. You just have to choose the live or the neutral wire and sever one of them. If you have a three pin plug, then you'll have the ground wire that you do not want to cut. Remember, we're dealing with AC electricity here, so make sure you know what you're doing first. We're not responsible for any electrocution that you might cause to yourself if you don't know what you're doing. On the relay module, you need to connect one to COM, C-O-M. Make sure it's nice and snug inside there. And then use the screwdriver to tighten the grip. it's well connected there and then the next wire we want to put into NO which means normally open Again, we're going to want to make sure that it's well into the hole. And then screw it tightly down. Check again whether it's snug in there, it's holding well. And there we are. Now it's connected up. And we're also going to need one Grove wire to connect to our M5. I'm going to connect to the black port, port A, on the side of the M5. Okay, now let's first do the code and then we'll test it after. First we'll need to drag in a loop. If we want the light to continuously blink, we'll need the code to loop over and over again. And then we'll need to go into the advanced section to find the pins. In here we'll choose the digital write pin. This is essentially like turning the light on and off. And we've changed the pin to pin 21 which is one of the pins inside the port A. And we'll set its value to 1, meaning on. Then we duplicate this block and set it to 0, meaning off. And because this is going to happen quite quick, we need to slow it down with some weight blocks in between. And there we go. It's as simple as that. This is all we need to make our light bulb flash. Let's upload it and give it a try. We can already hear the relay clicking away to itself. So now we're going to put it into the socket. 
There we have it. And there was light. So this is just a simple code that we can do to flash a light on and off. Much like when many beginners start to use Arduino to blink an LED. But this is the hello world of IoT we could say. But to go one step further, in the next video, we'll use our phone to turn the light on and off. Let's see how we can do that. Thanks again for watching. If you have any comments, don't forget to put them down in the comment section. And we'll see you next time.